and welcome to my little corner. In this video, I'm so excited. I have my second box from Lit Joy Crate. We have the magical subscription box. The theme for this one is fantastic creatures. So it's very exciting. I have no idea what's in it. So I actually have, oh, two boxes. They are actually the same. No, I did not get two subscription boxes, but this time I bought a lot of add-ons. So LitJoy also has this feature of add-ons. So add-ons are just extra items that you pay separately that you can add on to your box. So I'm gonna do the add-ons at the end and let's just get started with the mystery magical creatures box. It is so beautiful right here on the side. This one looks so cute here and over here. And this one kind of runs through to the top and on the very back, let me cover this some more over there so we start off with a little magazine it looks like a magazine it says Litjoy presents Circus Arcanus a stunning collection of amazing creatures from all over the world now I don't think okay so these are the spoilers so I'm not gonna open it but there is a little spoiler for the next box it says coming next legends and lore so the next box is going to be January. This one is the November box. This is what it's going to look like. There you go. We're getting started. And the first thing I see is a pair of Nudes Commander socks. These are actually really cute. So they look like Nudes Commander's scarf. Now actually, you know, LitJoy on their Instagram they post like a little bit of spoilers, like really zoom, zoomed in pictures to give you a little bit of a spoiler so you don't really see what the product is. And they give a little spoiler for this one. It was a really close up picture of like the pattern. And I actually, all this time, I thought I was getting News Commander scarf. I thought that was what the picture was and I've been so excited to get the scarf. It would have been amazing. But it's actually socks. Not as exciting as the scarf would have been, but I love socks. I guess I can't be disappointed. So these are the socks. They're actually really nice. They are, oh, these are soft. Like these are high quality socks. And yeah, there's like an S on them. Uh, it might be for Scamander. Moving on. The next thing I see is something that looks a little bit scary. Um, it looks like we have a plushie. I was not expecting a plush. I believe this is supposed to be a Niffler. I, there's something, he has a little pouch, like a little pocket and I, there's something in here. Oh, there's a little velvet pouch with a coin, looks like. Let me try to open this. Is this like a separate item or is it just part of it? Wait, let me see. Oh, okay. It's just they also have a coin spell collection and they just put the coin inside of it. It's kind of clever to have put the coin inside of the Niffler pouch so this is a Expelliarmus disarming charm coin so this is what it looks like and in the back it has how to make the spell now these coins I am not uh, personally like collecting all of them I'm just gonna get like the next ones like I got in this box and I'm gonna get the future coins from future boxes but I'm not gonna go crazy and try to collect like previous coins they are really nice they're super high quality and I really like the pouch so there's that now let's talk about this Niffler this is the scariest looking thing I've ever seen this does not look 
like a Niffler. Like, the Niffler is my favorite creature, and I just think he is so cute. But this thing, it's terrifying. <laughs> look at it, okay. Just look at it. It does not look like a, nif a Niffler, even like the beak. Like, it's supposed to be like a lot longer than that, than what this is. I'm just, I'm just gonna put that aside. Let's just forget about that. I don't even know what that is. Moving on, moving on. Hopefully there's better things inside. Okay, next up there is, oh, this, I like this box. So this box looks like Nude's Commander's case. And it says LitJoy Limited Edition, like this. There you go. I really like the design of the box, very clever. Now, let's open up and see what this is. Oh. It looks like a, a nesting doll, like a matroshka, but there's a Thestral in it. And there's stuff inside. I don't know if it's gonna be an actual nesting doll. Let me, wait, let's see. Does this open? I'm confused. There's something inside, but I'm, oh. Oh, there are, it is a nesting doll. You know what, I was scared to like put too much pressure and break it, but. Okay, so the first one, as I showed, is a test roll. And now there is a moon calf on the next one. And next up, we have a Demi Guys right here. Then we have a Niffler. See, this is how a Niffler is kind of supposed to look like. And there's still another one. It's harder and harder to open. Oh, damn, this is like super tiny one. So we have a bow truckle on the last one. This one is very tiny. I guess I'm trying to figure out what I feel about this. It is weird. Let's, let's face it. This is a weird item. It's like, they're trying to be clever about it, but I don't think it really works out. Maybe the idea that they had in their mind was better than what actually came out. <laughs> I mean, I guess if you want to display them, I mean, if you put everything back together, this is kind of hard to hold, and you put, put them on the shelf, I guess it could work out, but I don't think it looks good. I would rather put this box on display than the actual item. I don't know, I'm just saying. Let, let's keep going. So next up we have a photo strip and this is my second one. There's actually a little sticker inside which I'm gonna take out. I'm actually using the previous photo strip as a bookmark and I really like it. I do really like the art. So this is what it looks like. I believe that is Newt. I don't know who the girl is to be honest, but, and there's a bunch of creatures. I think it's really cute. I really like the colors with the pink curtains. Moving on, we have a big blue box. It looks like we have an Akami with the little, trying to eat the little bug. And oh, it says LitJoy exclusive teapot. And in the bottom it says dishwasher safe, made in China, art by Bambi Ka, or Khan. Let's try to open this. I mean, I guess a teacup, it would be really cool. It would be cute like in the movie, but especially if it has the Yokami on it. So let's try to open this. Ooh. Oh, I don't know, I don't know. Did I read teapot or teacup? I don't know, I was thinking teacup for some reason. It is a teapot. 
I do not have anything like this, but this is so, okay, this is actually really nice. Let me get the lid. Wow. This is actually really cute. So it looks like this. And there's the alchemy on it with the bug. The same design uh, that's in the box. And this is actually, you know, functional. I don't know if you can see, but inside, there's some, you see the holes? Yeah. And there's the design on both sides. This is actually really cute. Next up, ooh, it looks like we have a wand. What? So it says Litjoy One Shop, makers of fine wands since 2016. They're new. It's it's a very new business. There's like foiling in the box. Very nice. Let's see what the wand looks like. Oh. Oh, there's a little note inside. It says wand properties. Hornbean wood, 10 inches long, horn serpent, horn core, unyielded. Unyielding? Kind of hard to read that font. And, ooh, okay. So this is what it looks like at a first glance. It is, it is black and there is some blue on it. Is this an alchemy again? Oh, this is actually quite nice, but it is a very small wand. It is only 10 inches. So, yeah, I don't know. It looks so small. I guess I'm used to holding like the other bigger ones. Okay, so I was just reading the little spoiler book description and it is a Nagini wand. I don't know. I was still I was still thinking of the alchemy. I didn't even think about Nagini and yeah I don't what I don't know if the top what the top is I think it's a cauldron let me let me try to show you this up close cover my face so there's also on the very top you can see Nagini's face over there and yeah it looks like wood and a guinea is just wrapped around it. And I think this, the bottom, is supposed to be a cauldron. I'm not entirely sure. It is very pretty. Now, I don't know if Litjoy is planning to do a wand collection. Like a Harry Potter wand collection of their own. I don't know. I just know that this one is really cool. Okay, next up, we just have a little card with some artwork oh this is not the artwork from the box no some i really like this i love this artwork i really love this picture and that is it for the box i mean the main mystery box so it looks like we got seven items so we got the teapot the wand the photo strip the niffler the nesting dolls and the coin now the coin, it's, you know, they have a coin in every box. It's really nice. The photo strip, it's like also in every box, also really nice. Now the actual novel things. Um, I really like the socks. I wish it would have been the actual scarf, but it's fine. I'm gonna use the socks. The Niffler is horrible. I don't know if Litjoy is going to watch this, but please don't do this again. It looks terrifying. It does not look like a Niffler. I love the teapot. I loved the wand. The only other thing, the nesting dolls, um, probably was a good idea in their heads, but not really in practice. I don't know. I don't think they look good. And now let's open the add-ons. Now the add-ons, I already know what they are. I bought them myself separately, so I love all of them, or I would not have bought them. So this is actually the exciting part. 
I feel like maybe the add-ons are better than the items from the actual box but it's okay I'm very happy still let's start with the keys I have all of the previous keys I have a whole display I'm very excited so we have two new keys from the Alohomora collection I also really like the boxes I've been keeping all of the boxes I don't know they're so nice I feel so bad to throw them away okay so the first key is the green gods key oh my god I've, I've been waiting waiting for them to make a green gods key like they just they had to and it looks so amazing oh my god okay so this is what it looks like look at how amazing this is so there's a dragon on the key there's a little coin and there's a credit card I mean I don't know if they use credit cards in the magical world but I guess we do now it says goblin access card it's very futuristic I think the credit card is really nice and it says employee ID on the back and also says there's no safer place so this is the credit card and on the back over there it's actually really nice I also really like how the numbers are like raised just like in actual credit cards the actual key is amazing like it's really thick it's a 3d key you have the design on both sides it really is amazing I'm so happy I'm so happy they did a Gringotts key here is the coin and it just says Alohomora the next key this is a chunky one so let's open it and oh my god this is so cute okay so this is from Fantastic Beasts and at the end of Fantastic Beasts uh, Kowalski opens a bakery and this is a key to the bakery it's really cute so here's the initial look at it let me take it off so there's the K for Kowalski and then in the back it says quality baked goods here you go here in the back you know I think this is supposed to be a rolling pin and I think that's so cute and then we have a little Niffler bread loaf or cake and it is <laughs> it's squishy oh my god this is like weird and cute at the same time like I don't even know how to describe to you so here you go it looks just like the breads I don't know if in the movie it's a bread or a cake but it, it looks just like the one in the movie now my favorite part of this key is the briefcase that he carries around and the best part is that it opens so here ta-da look at that how cute is this it has all of the baked goods inside donuts and breads okay moving on we have a pouch um, I bought they had a set of dragon coins now I was telling you that I'm not collecting the coins I'm not collecting the spell coins but these dragon coins were really nice and pretty and I really like it and I want to display them so there's four coins and they come individually okay these coins are amazing so these are the four dragons from Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire from the task with the dragons you know how they have to pick a dragon from a bag these are the four dragons I think it's really amazing so here we have the Welsh green and on the back it says the name next up we have the Guinness fireball 
right there and the name on the back next up we have the Swedish short snout <laughs> it looks kind of funny here's the name and lastly we have the Hungarian horn tail it looks kind of cool kind of funny actually and here's the back these coins are really nice and I am going to display them I actually bought they, they were selling these coin displays, which are really nice to display all my coins. Next we have two enamel pins and it is called Witches Live Among Us. So there's two variations of the pin. I'm just gonna open them to show you. They actually look really amazing. So the enamel, like the outward edges is gold. It looks really nice. So this one says, Witches Live Among Us. It looks really nice. You know, it actually looks nicer in person than it does in the pictures. And this one is a pink purple variation that says, 100% that witch. I really like that. Okay, next up we have the next book in the collection. I am actually also collecting the notebooks. I wasn't at first, but then, you know, I got like, I got a few of them and I'm like, oh, now I need all of them. But I did already miss out quite a few of them and I'm just hoping that they're gonna restock it so I'm able to get all of them. So this one, it's called A Compendium of Magical Creatures. There's some nice foiling going on. And on the back, there's some very nice creatures. Let me show you. So this is the front. Right there. This is the back. It's very nice. There's some like wallpaper-like illustration inside and then it's just you know it's just an empty notebook next up this is very exciting okay so we got I almost forgot about this it is a muggle worthy lock this is so cool this is so cool guys like I actually what I didn't I didn't notice from the pictures that this was actually like a like a hanger so this is what it looks like. So this is the lock that's on Newt Scamander's case. How amazing is this? This is the back. It's very empty. So you're supposed to hang this. You know, you can hang stuff on it. This is really nice. And next up we have a puzzle. I've been so excited. I've been waiting for this puzzle. So I'm actually gonna just take off the plastic. So this is a 1000 piece puzzle with the magical creatures and I don't know about you but I just really love the artwork of this. This is what it looks like. Isn't this amazing? It's like the inside of Newt's case with all the magical creatures and I really like how there you can see Newt inside in Kowalski. <laughs> it's so cute. I really like this. As you can see, it says a thousand piece puzzle. Now they also had as an add-on a I don't know how many pieces it is. I don't know if it's 300 or 500 pieces um, of a different artwork, but you know. I'm like, go big or go home, you know? I feel like I just want as many pieces as possible. It's actually, oh, this is really nice quality pieces. You can see, you know, it takes me long to do it, but you know, it feels really nice once it's done. 
Oh, and lastly, we have the coin stands. It looks like I only bought two of them. What was I thinking? Why did I only buy two of them? It is, is the question, really. Now I feel like I have to go buy two more because for some reason, I only bought two. Oh, oh. So this is what the stands look like. You know, it's just a piece of metal. So the coin looks like this. How nice is that? Yeah, but I really need to buy two more. Okay, so that is the end of the add-ons. That was a lot of stuff. Did you also get this box, whether you did it or not? Let me know, what did you think of it? Whether you wanna talk about the actual box or the add-ons, what were your favorite things, what didn't you like? Let me know what you thought of it in the comments down below. And yeah, this is it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a like and make sure to subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye bye.